Under data preparation, we have two features. The first of which is, in my opinion, one of the best and greatest updates we've had to M and the advanced query editor in quite a while. We now have a preview of M IntelliSense. So just like we have IntelliSense when you're editing a DAX measure, you can go into the advanced editor and have a similar IntelliSense feeling to it. So if I switch over to my report and I open the query editor, and then I go into the advanced editor. Since I have the preview feature switch on, you'll see that everything is now colored very nicely. You can see my table, or I mean my columns are in red, the types are in blue. When I click on something, it highlighted all the other similarities. If I go down here, let's just delete this real quick. I can start typing and I get autocomplete suggestions for what I should add. We um, you get prompts for different things, like different parameters for stuff. You get all of the really nice intelligence that you you expect whenever you're writing something in some language. Uh, it's a preview, so you have to go turn it on in the options dialog. But once you do, you see all this nice intelligence here. And we will eventually bring that into the formula bar editor and the column, the ability to add columns as well. But for now, advanced editor, Go try out the feature. If you do anything in M, this is going to, I think, change your life. I'm very excited about this update. The last feature is an update to our add column from examples feature. You know, we released this feature quite a while ago where you could just type in examples of how you want your new column to look. And then based off of your old columns, we'll figure out whatever transformations are needed to get it there and create that column for you. And ever since then, Almost every month, we have a new update for this feature, new transformations you, we support for this feature. And this month, that is text padding. So now if you want to use text padding, which is, for example, if you wanted to update a column to say that I want this col a numeric column that ha ranges from like 1 to 100, I want to update it so there's zeros in front so that every c value in my column has three digits. So if it was a single digit number before it, 1, it will now read 0, 0, 001. If it was a double digit like 50, it would read 0, 050. 0, and 100 would not get any zeros because it's already three digits. Uh, so that, that's text padding. And you can now do that through the add column from examples feature. And of course, you can mix that with all of the other great sub other examples we have for support f in the add column from examples feature so you can mix and match all in one new column. So that's it for this month. Let us know in the comments what you think of all these great features and what you like to see us add next.